Hi everyone, this is your math guru. In this video, I'm going to show you how to solve the following algebraic equations. Please don't forget to click on the like and subscribe button below for more easy to understand math concepts. In the first example, we have 10 equals minus 10x minus 4. I'm to solve for x. To solve for x, I'm going to use the balance method, which means I'm going to take every term or coefficient of x to the other side of the equation, starting with my minus 4. The inverse of minus 4 is plus 4, so that means I'm going to be adding 4 to both sides of the equation. So I have 10 plus 4 equals minus 10x minus 4 plus 4. Remember, whatever you do on your left, you do on your right. Minus 4 plus 4, that cancels out. On my left hand side, I have 14 equals minus 10x. To get rid of my minus 10, because I have multiplication between minus 10 and x, I'm going to be dividing both sides by minus 10. Minus 10 divided by minus 10, that's 1, leaves me with my x. I'm also going to check the fraction I have on my left hand side to simplify. I'm going to divide both. By 2 so 14 divided by 2 that's 7 and 10 divided by 2 I have 5 therefore I'm left with minus 7 over 5 equals to x in the second example I'm going to solve for x I have minus 3x plus 5 equals to minus 10 like I did in the previous example I'm going to go step by step by starting with plus 5. Taking plus 5 to the other side or using the balance method, I'm going to subtract 5 from both sides. So I have minus 3x plus 5 minus 5 equals minus 10 minus 5. Plus 5 minus 5, that cancels, gives you 0. I'm left with minus 3x equals minus 10 minus 5, that's minus 15. To get rid of my minus 3 so that I can isolate by x, I'm going to divide both sides by minus 3. Minus 3 divided by minus 3, that will give me 1. On the other side, minus 15 divided by minus 3, that will give me positive 5. So therefore, the value of my x is positive 5. In the next example, you observe that I have p on both sides of the equation so therefore the first step is to group all the coefficient or all the terms that have p since i have another term on my right hand side which is minus 3 i'm going to take 7p to the other side and because it's a plus that means i'm going to minus 7p from both sides i have 10 p minus 7p equals 7p minus 7p minus 3. 7p minus 7p, that cancels out, that's 0. On my left hand side, 10p minus 7p, I have 3p equals to minus 3. To get rid of my 3, I'm going to divide both sides by 3. 3 divided by 3 on my left hand side, that cancels out, that's 1. Therefore, I have p equals minus 3 divided by 3, that's minus 1. The last example, I have, I'm to find n, I have 2 minus 3n equals 12 plus 5n. I have n on both sides of the equation, so therefore I'm going to group my n. I'm going to take minus 3n to the other side, and because it's a minus 3n, that means I'm going to be adding plus 3n to both sides. So therefore, I have 2 minus 3n plus 3n. Remember, I'm using the balance method. And whatever you do on your left, you do on your right. So I have plus 3n. I've added plus 3n to both sides. On my left hand side, minus 3n plus 3n, that's 0. So that cancels. I'm left with 2 equals 12 plus 5n plus 3n, 8n. Because I'm looking for n, 
I will start by taking away my 12. And because it's a plus 12, that means I'm going to subtract 12 from both sides. So I have 2 minus 12 equals 12 minus 12 plus 18. 12 minus 12 on my right hand side, that's 0. On my left hand side, 2 minus 12, I have minus 10 equals, I'm left with 8n. To find n, I will divide both sides by 8. 8 divided by 8, that's 1. On my left hand side, I'm going to divide both my numerator and my denominator by 2. 10 divided by 2, 5. 8 divided by 2, 4. I'm simplifying my fractions. Whatever you divide with by the numerator, you divide by the denominator. I'm left with minus 5 over 4 equals to n. Thanks for watching. Bye.